Weekly concept. Adaptations. Essential question. What helps an animal survive? Adapting to survive. Hi, I'm a chameleon. Have you ever seen anyone quite like me? Here's how I have adapted to survive in my environment. See my skin color? I can change it. Changing my skin color helps to camouflage me from predators. My long tail can wrap around branches. How do you think that helps me? Talk about it. Write words you have learned about adaptation. Then talk with a partner about other animals and how they have adapted to survive. Vocabulary. Use the picture and the sentences to talk with a partner about each word. Camouflaged. It's hard to see the camouflaged insect because it blends in with the leaf. Camouflaged. Something camouflaged is hidden by looking like its surroundings. Camouflaged. Something camouflaged is hidden by looking like its surroundings. Dribbles. Water dribbles from the leaky faucet all night. Dribbles. To dribble is to flow or let flow in small drops. Dribbles. To dribble is to flow or let flow in small drops. Extraordinary. The owl has an extraordinary ability to stare for a long time without blinking. Extraordinary. Something extraordinary is very unusual or remarkable. Extraordinary. Something extraordinary is very unusual or remarkable. Poisonous. Some wild mushrooms can make you sick because they are poisonous. Pounce. The bobcat likes to pounce on fish in the river. Predator. A leopard is a fierce predator that can catch most animals that it hunts. Prey. The Venus flytrap plant traps its prey inside its sticky leaves.
Vibrations. Eric plucked his guitar strings, causing vibrations as the strings moved quickly back and forth. Vibrations. Vibrations are rapid motions back and forth or up and down. Vibrations. Vibrations are rapid motions back and forth or up and down. Your turn. Pick three words. Write three questions for your partner to answer. Expository text. Animal adaptations. What helps an animal survive? Essential question. What helps an animal survive? Read about ways different animals adapt to their environments. What would you do if you saw a skunk raise his tail? If you knew anything about skunks, you would run in the opposite direction. Skunks have a built-in survival system. They can blast a predator with a horrible smelling spray produced by the glands under their tails. The special ways that animals have to survive are called adaptations. These include physical traits, such as the skunk spray and animals with bright colors and markings that warn predators that they are poisonous. Some animals can sense the smallest vibrations in the ground. Others hear sounds from miles away. An adaptation can also be a behavioral trait. An example of a behavioral trait would be birds that migrate south every winter to avoid harsh temperatures. Staying warm. Brr. Imagine living in a place where the average annual temperature is an extraordinary 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Welcome to the Arctic tundra of Alaska, Canada, Greenland, and Russia, home of the caribou. To stay warm, caribou have two layers of fur and a thick layer of fat. They also have compact bodies, only four or five feet long. Caribou can weigh over 500 pounds. The tip of the caribou's nose and mouth is called a muzzle. It is covered in short hair. This hair helps to warm the air before they inhale it into their lungs. It also helps to keep them warm as they push snow aside to find food. When a skunk turns and sprays a predator, the foul-smelling mist can travel up to 10 feet. Finding food. Every day, a caribou eats over six pounds of lichen. Caribou have unusual stomachs. The stomach's four chambers are designed to digest lichen. It is one of the few foods they can find in the winter. Even so, caribou still have a tough time in the coldest part of winter when their food sources decline. That's why they travel from the tundra to a large forest area where food is easier to find. When the melting snow dribbles into streams, they know it is time to return up north. Insects in Disguise Look closely at the photo of the tree branch. Can you spot the insect? It is a phasmid. Some phasmids are known as leaf insects or walking sticks. Phasmids look like leaves or twigs. 
These insects can change colors to really blend in with their surroundings. In this way, they are camouflaged from predators. It's as if they disappear from sight. These insects are nocturnal, which means that they are active at night. This is another adaptation that helps them avoid predators. It's hard to spot these insects in daylight, let alone at night. Lichen can grow in extreme temperatures. This phasmid is called a walking stick because it looks like a stick with legs. Water, please. Water, please. In Florida's vast Everglades ecosystem, the dry season is brutal for many plants and animals. Alligators have found a way to survive these dry conditions in the freshwater marshes. They use their feet and snouts to clear dirt from holes in the limestone bedrock. When the ground dries up, the alligators can drink from their water holes. Other species benefit from these water holes too. Plants grow there. Other animals find water to survive the dry season. However, the animals that visit alligator holes become easy prey. The normally motionless alligator may pounce on them without warning. But luckily, alligators eat only a few times each month. Many animals take their chances and revisit the alligator hole when they need water. In the end, it's all about survival. Make connections. How do adaptations help an animal survive? Describe an animal adaptation that you have seen. Summarize. When you summarize, you retell the most important details in a paragraph or section of text. Summarize sections of animal adaptations to help you understand the information. Find text evidence. Identify key details to summarize the section. Insects in disguise. Look closely at the photo of the tree branch. Can you spot the insect? It is a phasmid. Some phasmids are known as leaf insects or walking sticks. Phasmids look like leaves or twigs. These insects can change colors to really blend in with their surroundings. In this way, they are camouflaged from predators. It's as if they disappear from sight. These insects are nocturnal, which means that they are active at night. This is another adaptation that helps them avoid predators. It's hard to spot these insects in daylight, let alone at night. Caption. This phasmid is called a walking stick because it looks like a stick with legs. Phasmids are insects that can camouflage themselves to avoid predators. In addition, phasmids are nocturnal, which makes them difficult for predators to spot. Your turn. Reread Water, Please on page 139 and summarize the section. Main Idea and Key Details the main idea is the most important point that the author makes in a text or a section of the text. Key details give important information to support the main idea. Find text evidence. When I reread the section, Staying Warm in Animal Adaptations, on page 137, I can identify the key details. Then I can think about what those details have in common. Now I can figure out the main idea of the section. Graphic Organizer Main Idea Caribou adaptations help them survive the cold. Detail Caribou have two layers of fur and a thick layer of fat. Detail Short hair on their muzzles warms the air that they inhale. Detail Caribou have compact bodies that can weigh over 500 pounds. Caption. All three key details support the main idea. Your turn. Reread the section Insects in Disguise on page 138. 
find the key details and list them in the graphic organizer. Use these details to figure out the main idea. Expository text. Animal adaptations is an expository text. Expository text gives facts and information about a topic. Includes text features. Find text evidence. Animal adaptations is an expository text. It gives me facts about how different animals have adapted to survive. Each section has a heading. The text also includes photographs and captions. Text features, photographs and captions. Photographs illustrate what is in the text. Captions provide additional information. Headings, headings tell what a section of text is mostly about. Your turn. Find and list two text features in animal adaptations. Tell your partner what information you learned from each of these features. Write about the text. I answered the question, "How do extremes in temperature affect the food sources of the caribou?" Use text evidence. Extreme winter temperatures in the Arctic tundra make it difficult for the caribou to find enough food. A caribou's diet is made up of over six pounds of lichen a day. It's one of the only sources of food that they can find in the winter. However, even lichen is scarce during the coldest part of the winter. As a result, caribou travel to a large forest area where there is more food. When temperatures get warmer, the caribou return to the tundra. Introduce a topic. I clearly stated the subject of my response. Grammar. This is an example of a singular possessive noun. Transitions. I use the word however to link my ideas. Logical order. I presented my supporting details in terms of cause and effect. Your turn. How do alligators survive Florida's dry season? Use text evidence.